All right. As usual, I'm going to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa Bashem Yahawa Shai Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And a shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, I might be all over the place. So lock you. So lock you for that. Um, it's so much that's on my mind. Um, I had to write it down. I started writing down, um, you know, signs of the times, things that are going on in your that's affecting your everyday lives. And uh, I, man, I can't. It, it, it's so much I can, you know, so much, man. So um, first and foremost, I'm gonna spotlight this page here. Uh, popular preparedness. He always does good video, good videos, always edifying about the economy, you know, and what's going on, um, and it's multiple, it's, it's a plethora of, it's, you can't even keep up, there's so many, um, you know, people warning you about the economy, all right, just do your, go on YouTube, do your, do, do your due diligence, there's, you know, people all over warning you about the times that we're heading into, not to mention the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets are constantly warning you, all right, but uh, watch this video here on this channel, again, the popular preparedness, and it says, uh, d disaster is imminent. Stock market crash. Credit, um, Swissy, Susie, uh, I think it's Swiss because he was talking about the Swiss. Default. It says, the second largest Swiss bank in severe trouble, and so is the largest German bank, like 2008 times three. Okay, so again, subscribe to this channel and watch it. Always does edifying videos. But there's a plethora of um, videos on YouTube that you can find with people um, going into the economy, going into what's going on, all right? But um, I, I got a list here. I'm going to read. Um, like I said, it might be all over the place, but um, I don't want to write this out. It comes together, okay? I got a couple of scriptures I'm going to bring out. I'm not sure if I'm going to read them all, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, going into spirit, the Rakak Wadash. Um, but here, here goes. Um, the first thing I wrote down uh, says um, rent's going up. You know, if you've been paying attention, rent has been going up, and not just by you know a hundred dollars. You know, rent's been going up damn near <laughs> hundreds. You know, hundreds of dollars rents is going up three, four hundred dollars sometimes. Rent people's rents are increasing. Okay, um, so what does that mean? The cost of living is going up, right? You, your utilities are going up. Your utility bills, your gas bill, your light bill, your water bill, you know, food is on a food, food prices are going up. Okay. You go to the grocery store food, you see, you notice food prices are going up drastically. Okay. Um, these, uh, different restaurants. Okay. Food prices are going up. I went to Chipotle the other day, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got, um, three, three bowls. I think it came up to like damn near 50 bucks man for what i got if i'm not mistaken i can't remember exactly but i was like god damn <clears throat> i had went to the jamaican restaurant a while back you know it was the prices of, of food was through the roof i said i ain't going back there no more just like i'm not going back to chipotle you know um but if you've been even in the grocery store price, food in general is going everything is going up man okay because what hyperinflation is setting in all right and uh, your media your your news your government they're lying to you. They're not giving you the, the real numbers. All right, you gotta use your own use the use your eyes in your, that God gave you. Use the eyes in your head and pay attention. Look around. Open up your eyes, man. All right, hyperinflation is setting in all around you. All right, um, um, all throughout um, YouTube, there's people complaining about um, the banks giving them a hard time withdrawing money, because a lot of people, the ones of us that are awoke, that that are can clearly see what times are in there a lot of people are trying to withdraw uh most of their money out of their bank accounts you know basically it's, it's a soft run on the banks because everyone's not aware most of you got your heads stuck up your ass your head's buried in the sand but the people would know are trying to keep cash on them all right 
which we know eventually the cash is going to be um, insignificant, irrelevant, all right? They're, they're doing away with this current fis fiscal fiat system. It's a controlled collapse, all right? But the banks are giving people a hard time. Um, they're um, lowering people's um, credit limits. They're lowering how much money you can withdraw out of the ATMs. Um, car sales are down, you know. Uh, CarMax's uh, stocks are plummeting. Used car sales are down. Uh, go buy your uh, local uh, auction, your auction lot, all right? We have a major one here called Sadie's, right? I drove by it the other day. It's packed with cars, man, you know, and that's used cars. A lot of it, a lot of these cars are repossessed cars, okay? The banks repossess them, and you have these um, small car dealerships that go to these auctions, and they buy these used cars, these buy here, pay here, buy here, pay here places, so on and so forth, but they're not buying the, 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 the car. They're not buying cars anymore because the banks want to want an astronomical rate for these used cars. They're sitting they're waiting for the prices to drop. OK, you see, so basically these auctions, these different car lots are they're they're they're, they're you know, they can't move the cars, you know, month after month. The cars are just sitting on the lots. OK, not to mention people aren't really even buying new cars. You know, through, and then if you do get a new car, what's going to happen? The interest rates are going through the roof, you know, you know, daily, weekly, the interest rates are increasing, not to mention the housing market is down. OK, I, I noticed I've been looking around certain subdivisions that I saw popping up. They may have, um, you know, you know, they uh, started, um, you know, went through with the backhoe, taking the trees down, you know, set, you know, setting up lots. They haven't started building yet, but they started, you know started you know the process and i noticed that the, the the subdivisions have been sitting dormant no houses are being built up upon them okay so the housing market is down okay um what else so i don't want i don't want the screen to go out uh, hopefully you could hear me too so lucky so it says um what else not to mention what's affecting the housing market there's a steel shortage right there's a lumber shortage okay there's a there's a food shortage okay you know, they've been a food shortage. M multiple people have been reporting on it, you know, um, not to mention the, the, there's a supply chain disruption. OK, you see, you see what else is going on? You got strikes and, and I'm talking about worldwide. These are worldwide events, not just things that are happening here in Babylon the Great. These are things that are happening all around the world because this we know this is a global reset. This is a global thing. This is a global agenda. It's a control collapse. In order to, to usher in this new digital system, this new digital way of buying and sell, buying and selling, all right? Order out of chaos, problem, reaction, solution, the Hegelian dialect, pressure from above, pressure from below, all right? And the people are lashing out. That's why we know there's going to be sedition in the streets, as the, as the scriptures say. They're going to go, they're going to lash out against their leaders, man, okay? So there's a, a, a lot of strikes, a lot of protests going on. Unemployment is at an all-time high. Is that is real high? They're not. They're not. The government is not giving you the true numbers. Okay, a lot of these people aren't. Um, they they can't afford to. They're not working for the, these low, these low uh, wa uh, minuscule wages anymore. All right, you can't afford to because what, the cost of living is going up. Everything is going. So you can't work for ten, twelve dollars an hour anymore. Okay, you need. You know, you need a a, 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 a substantial wage. All right. Um, you know, so uh, what else is going on? Not to mention all the storms in the earth, the earthquakes, the hurricanes, um, typhoons, tsunamis, you know, you know, <laughs> what else? You got the Nord Stream pipeline, Nord Stream 1 and 2 going on. You got World War 3 brewing, you know, over there in Ukraine. And what, what happens during war? It's big business, big business during war. Okay. So, hey, we in beautiful times. Beautiful, that's just a couple of things that, you know, it's probably a, a bunch that I missed, okay? But showing you that the times that we're living in, all right? And you can't say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not long-suffering. It's not merciful, all right? Um, a lot of you scoff and you talk shit, you know, about uh, 2000, the 2000-year 2000 um, the, uh, a declaration that, 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 that the elders made, you know? Hey, man... <laughs> Be thankful Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai didn't destroy this place in, back in the year 2000, okay? Because most of us wouldn't have, make it, wouldn't have made it, all right? 
You know, the word hadn't hadn't spread like how it spread like wildfire now. You know, this word this word has gone out through the through the four corners of the earth. You know? There's no cloak for your sins. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to be justified in destroying this place. All right? In 2008, 2009, when the economy collapsed, right? It caught a lot of us off guard. It caught, it caught the, most of us off guard. I know it caught me off guard, okay? But the Lord is so merciful. He's so long-suffering that this time, you know, the Lord is, 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 is screaming at you, okay? He's got the truthers exposing every. It's all. It's all over. You can't. You can't get around the, the times that we're living in. It's obvious. It's evident. Okay, but to, But you people just want to turn a blind eye to it. You know, shove your head in the sand. Just hope everything is going to go back to normal when it's not. Okay, you think you think this devil Esau Edom is going to save you? you? You see, when he it's all by design. He's bringing a lot of this chaos, this uh, you know, this heartache. Okay. Why? So that he can bring the squeeze. He's bringing the squeeze upon you, so, you know, so that you'll you'll fold in the time of the hour of temptation when he when he rolls out that digital ooh, that RFID microchip. Okay, you see, the prophets of the Lord they're on fire. Yahabashim Yahushua is turning up. Okay, it's no excuse, man. Okay, so Yahabashim Yahushua is is gonna destroy this place. Our redemption is nigh. You can see it, man. You can see it. It's evident. The evidence is overwhelming. All right. So I'm not sure if I'm going to read all these scriptures. Um, like I said, I'm just going in the spirit, you know. This is Second Chronicles 36. Um, I start at 15. And the Lord, Yahweh, power of their fathers, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the power of Yasharala, you tribes, no other nation, all right? And the Lord, Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, because the Lord, the Lord speaks through men. You know, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants as prophets. And also, uh, per Psalms, he's making their tongues fall upon themselves. You've got all these chief financial advisors, um, you know, telling you what's going on. You got preppers. You got people that are actually, you know, watching, you know, you know, because they know what happened during 2008. They know what happened in 2009. They lost, you know, they lost their jobs. They lost their homes. So people are, 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 are weary of what can happen, okay? They're not walking around with blinders on, okay? You got these preppers, you know? You know, everybody's paying attention. You know, the ones of us that are woke, we're paying attention, and we're relaying the message to you. We're going to these grocery stores. We're show we're filming it. We're showing you the, the bare shelves. We're showing you the price of goods going up. You could see it for your goddamn self, all right? Victuals are not so good cheap in the earth anymore, Okay? So it's evident, you see, you see, so it's, there's going to be no cloak for your sins, all right? Like I said, we're at the end of the fiscal year. They're already telling you that it's going to be a dark winter, all right? They're telling you 2023 is going to be a hell of a year, okay? And the Lord Yahweh, power of their father, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people, all right? This is why we do the, this, the Lord told us to feed his sheep, to warn you, to go out there to the highways and the byways and warn you, you know, whether they hear or forbear, lift up your voice like a trumpet. The Lord knew you wasn't going to listen, all right? He knew you were going to mock and scorn, you know, you know, and, 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 you know, fan your hand at us, but guess what? The job is done. You're sealed, all right? The the elect are being sealed for salvation and, and, the, and the rest of you are being sealed for destruction, all right, but you can't say that you didn't know. Can't say that the Lord was not long suffering, that all may come to repentance. But He's not slack as some men count slackness. And enough is enough is enough, man. The doors of mercy are about to slam shut. As I, I'm, I'm going to bring it out, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is weary of repenting. He's tired of warning you, man. We're tired of warning you. All right, you, we, we're broken records, man. All right, so there's going to come a time when the Lord is going to withdraw His men. All right, he's going to hide himself and it's only going to be judgment out here. No more mercy. That's why he said, seek the Lord. I, well, let me not jump the gun. Okay. Remember that creator in the days of thy youth before the evil days draw nigh. We're at, we're in the evil days, but you ain't seen nothing yet. It says, it says, but they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his words and misused his prophets. I saw Elder Apostle uh, Gabar did, Are You Not Entertained? A lot of you 
this is entertainment to you. All right, we're not well, we're not here to entertain you, man. This is deadly serious. This is about life and death, man. All right, you know, you know this is serious business. The flood is coming. The enemy is about to come in as a flood. Okay, and and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to release the flood of plagues, and ultimately the flood of the missiles, man. Okay. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his words, and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy and that's what's happened that's what happened in the past and it's going to happen again all right because the lord is angry with the world that he made all right he's visiting the place man he's visiting this place he's angry with two-thirds of his people all right he's angry with these heathens for what they did to us you see you see you see hey but you can't say you didn't know can't say you did not know all right this is Isaiah 55. Um, uh, straight to the point. Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. You can find the Lord now. You got all the liberty. You got all the grace all the time in the world. You got all the, you got the Urim and the Thurim. You got the, you know, you got the men of the Lord. You got these videos. You got these, you got all the, all the tools you need. To, to measure the time diligently, okay, you know, it's no excuse, but you got to do some due diligence, you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind, okay, you know, search the scriptures, you know, to see if the things that we're saying are true, all right, it says, seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found, you got any questions, the men of the Lord, we're, we're more than willing, to, we're apt to teach, we're ready to teach, all right, you know, you know, so it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. A lot of you don't, you know, your faith is weak. You're not sure if we have the true names of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shy. Inquire, do your due diligence, man. You know, go into the, go, look things up, man. You know, go into the, the, the Lashawan Kodash, the Paleo Hebrew. Look, 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 look up the letters, the words. Look when the letter J was formed. Look when, you know, do your due diligence, man. There's no excuse, man. The evidence is overwhelming. The Lord is not trying to trick you. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is not trying to trick you. He's a just power, a righteous power. Okay? And he's long-suffering. Compassion, com compassion. He's full of compassion. But he's not slack as some men count slackness. He's about to hide himself. He's about to withdraw himself. He's about to withdraw his men. The famine of the word, Amos 8 and 11. All right? We end in times, man. Persecution is coming. We're about to be tested beyond our imagination. Okay? So now is the time to, to get this wisdom and knowledge, this oil in your in your vessel. This is what's going to keep you stable in them times to come. All right? Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Now is the time to, to you know, be praying constantly, throwing curses up, you know, putting your Yahweh and Yahweh in remembrance. That way, in the time of judgment, he'll remember mercy. I don't want to rot the Lord's will. It says, let the wicked forsake his way, because we got to repent. Repent, you know, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him. That's what we want. In the time of judgment, we want mercy. We're going to need that mercy. All right? We're going to need that thawah, that hedge, that hedge of protection. You want to be exempt from judgment. You want to be found blameless in that time. Okay? It says, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return. Lean upon the Lord with all your understanding, with all your heart, you know. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Alright? But guess what? We have an unction from the Holy One, and we know all things. We have the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Starting with his men, his servants, the prophets. Alright? You know? You know? So, um, let's see. What else? Let me see. 
But we know two thirds of you are not going to repent. You know, two thirds of you are, are slated for destruction. All right. And, you know, you're the same wicked ass people that keep coming back in the same lot. You scoffers and scorners, you naysayers. All right. Only a remnant is going to return. All right. And you people, and matter of fact, it tells you in Second Ezra. Did I pull that Second Ezra 16? It tells you scourges are sent for amendment. The Lord brings these plagues upon you for you to examine yourself, for you to consider your ways. But you people are just waxing worse and worse. Prime example, the Lord just ran through uh, Florida. And these people, they were all scared. And at first they were scoffing and scorning. Then then they saw the, 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 the power of the Lord. Then they had a little bit of fear. Okay. But as soon as everything eased up, they back to the bullshit. To the folly and bullshit. You know, and they wax and worse and more prouder than ever. Okay, that's you. That's two thirds of our proudest hell, man. All right, but that's a sign of the times that we're in. Okay, you see, Second Timothy uh, three and thirteen. Uh, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, and that's what times are in. All right, these people are waxing worse and worse. All right. And the Lord is, you know, hey, the Lord is about to wash his hands. He's about to, you know, slam that door in your face. Okay? You know? You know? Um, I don't want to make it too long. Straight to the point. Uh, Isaiah 1 and 4. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel, Yasharallah, unto anger. They are gone away backward. They wax and worse and worse, man. Why should you be stricken anymore? The Lord is tired of jacking your ass up. He's tired of putting the belt to your ass. He's tired of whooping your ass, man. You know, you're just bucking up more and more. Okay? You know? And so why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, no light, man. You people are bugged the fuck out. You're completely drugged, I mean drunk, on the ways of this world. You're completely enamorated with this world. You're obsessed with this world, man. You're obsessed with the, you know, you're obsessed, man. It says, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed up, neither, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Okay? And because what? The ointment is this word. This word is what heals you. Okay, but you people don't want to hear it. You loathe the law. You loathe your how about you, how shy. Okay. Um. Straight to the point. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50, uh, 15, Jeremiah 15 and 5. It says, For who shall have pity on thee, O Jerusalem? And remember, we're people before place. Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord Jehovah. Thou art gone backward, whoring after every, uh, after every green tree, after all the idols. You're whoring after these idols, these false gods, these other nations. All right, you know you run in every which way, but to your power, man. You know you're going hard for everybody, but your how, but you how shy. You're doing the most to make it in this world, but you ain't do, you doing the least to please your power. Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord Jehovah. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary of, I am weary with repenting. The Lord is tired of warning you, man. He's tired, man. We're tired of warning you. We're broken records. Okay. And I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways. Okay, their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. Our uh, women, they're haughty as hell. They're proud as hell. You know, that's why the Lord said, Rise up, you careless women that are at ease. Many years shall you be visited. The vengeance is, is going to fail. The gathering shall not come. The Lord is about to jack this place up, man. And you people think you're in a good case. But you're sadly mistaken. All right? Um... That's the point. I don't, I don't want to make it long, man. I don't want to make this long. Okay? Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to close out with that one. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Um, um, let me see. 
Uh, Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. See, why should you be stricken anymore? We keep warning you. We keep warning you. We keep smacking you in the face with the, with, with the you know, with the evidence, with the receipts. And you keep but you waxing worse and worse. You being more proud of you revolting more and more. So you finna be when they say when they shall say peace and safety and sudden destruction shall come upon them as women with trial and none shall escape. The Lord is about to come catch you as a thief in the night. Why? Because you're not watching. You're not looking for him. We're watching. We're hastening. We're, we're constantly warning you, watching, watching the news, measuring the time, you know, linking things up with the with prophecy, you know, you know. So it's not that day's not going to overtake us as a, as a thief. But you people are asleep, man. You're, you're, you're blinded, you know, you see. But that doesn't mean this destruction is, is going to is not going to happen. It's gonna catch you. It's gonna. It's, this destruction is coming. It's imminent, as the as the, the dude said. This collapse is imminent. You know, Esau's down, demise is imminent. You can't save him. You can't stop it. And you' about to go down right with this devil, okay? Because you're confederate with him, just as these other heathen nations are, okay? And you can't say you weren't warned. The blood is off our hands. Proverbs twenty nine and one. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck. You more, you're getting more and more stiff neck. More and more stubborn, you know, shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. You see? Um, Proverbs 6 and 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He winketh his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Forwardness is in his heart. He, he deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things doth the Lord Yahweh hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, and you people are proud as hell, man. Proud for what? You got nothing, man. You have nothing. I'm talking about Yasharala. We got no goddamn standing army. We got no country. You know, our, our, our land is desolate. Strangers devour it. You know, you got you got nothing to your name, man. You got nothing but debt. You don't own nothing, man. You don't you don't own your children. You don't own yourself. You're on a constant goddamn hamster wheel, subject to payment, a slave, a perpetual slave to your enemy. And you people are proud. You love it. But hey, that's what the Lord said. Is Israel a homeborn slave? Yeah. Two thirds of our people are homeborn slaves. They love they love their oppressor. They love being they, you know. You know, they love this. They love grinding. <laughs> You know, they, they relish in it. Oh, I got two jobs. I got, I'm grinding. You know, I'm chasing the bag. You goddamn clowns, man. You know, and you're proud as hell. And the Lord hates it. Fuck you proud about. A proud look, a lying tongue, you bunch of goddamn liars and, and hypocrites. All right. And hands that shed innocent blood. You see, you, you destroy yourself. You destroy your children. You know, physically and morally. Spiritually, you destroy it, you know. You about to, a lot of you, we're heading into uh, All Hallows Eve, you know, so called Halloween. A lot of you about to dress your children up, sacrifice them to Molech, you goddamn fools, man, you know. You take the little bit of money that you don't have already and, um, you know, waste it on, on fucking stupid ass Halloween costumes and, and candy, you know. <sighs> fools. A proud look, a lion tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief. And yeah, you quick to do some wickedness, man. You know? To do righteousness, there's no understanding in you. But but on some folly, some wickedness, you people, you're the masters of it. Okay? But guess what? The same thing happened in the days of Noah. All right? And the Lord got angry. He was angry. That's why the flood came. And, and, and I told you, a flood is coming again. But this time, it's going to be a flood of fire. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. This place, America, Babylon the Great, is going out with a bang, a great bang, a big bang, okay? And the, that our redemption is nigh, that day is nigh. Um, this is uh, Luke 17 and 24. For as the lightning that light, lighteneth out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man, so, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. 
and you reject the Lord, you reject his, his mess, his word, his laws, his statutes, his commandments, you reject his prophets. I brought it out. You mock us, you, you know, but it is what it is. The blood is off our hands. You're heaping coals upon your head. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of, of this generation. Because this is that same wicked and perverse generation coming back in their lot. And as it was in the days of Noah, Noe, meaning Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noe, Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. All right, and basically they was living it up, just like you living it up now, waxing worse and worse, instead of instead of repenting and considering your ways and seeking the Lord while you may be found, trying to offend less, trying to store up these righteous acts. You you just, you know, you're laden with iniquity. It says likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Yeah, beautiful. That's the times we're heading into. All right? I'm going to close out here. I don't want to write this out. It came together and it, and it made sense. All right? Uh, Straight to the point. Read the whole chapter. Second Ezra 9 and uh, 9 and 9. It says, Then shall they be in a... In, in, in a so lucky. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways. Two thirds of you. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, as if a man did flee from a, a lion and a bear met him, and, and then, uh, you know, put his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. It's going to be one calamity after another. All right? The, the, these plagues are about to unleash, the Lord is about to unleash these plagues on you. All manner of hell is about to break loose. All right? You see? Famine, pestilence, race wars, class wars, you know? It's beautiful times. Beautiful for the elect, horrific for the wicked, two-thirds of you, you see, that refuse to repent. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused, hey, the love of many is about to wax cold, it's waxing cold now, because iniquity shall abound, the lack of bread, whoo, beautiful times, famine is about to set in, beautiful times, a lot of you about to be homeless, you about to lose your jobs, about to be asked out, okay, then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits, yeah, a gift destroy of the heart. A lot of you got gifts from your daddy. You know, you got these good jobs, these so called good jobs, high paying jobs with pensions and four one Ks and, you know, retirement funds and shit, you know. You got uh, you own multiple homes. You renting them out. You know you got multiple nice vehicles. You women, you, you you got all these benefits from the government. You know food stamps, Section Eight. You know you get all these loans and all these grants. You know, you know this world is just catering to a lot of you. So you think you're in a good case, but you about to lament for the teats. The vintage is about to fail. The gathering is not coming. For such as in their life have received benefits. And those are gifts from your daddy, but a gift to shrove the heart, you know, and have not known me. Yeah, you think you blessed. I'm blessed, you know, even for rude awakening. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, you got all the time in the world. We're not in chattel slavery anymore. We're not in hardcore bondage anymore. Now it's spiritual. It's the, the bonds are spiritual, man. You know, you know, these chains are spiritual chains now, man, you know. So it's no excuse. You got all the time to do what the hell you want to do. But you want to do some, you want to be entertained. You want to look up, you want to do some folly, you know. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, mercy, grace. You know, you can find the Lord, you know. Understood not, but despised it. Yeah, you scoff and you scorn, you mock us, you talk shit, you know, you slander us, you know. But it is what it is. The same must know it after death by pain. And there, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. Because they're going to get theirs. No one escapes, man. They're going to get theirs, man. We're going to see the downfall of the wicked. Okay? 
but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? Seeing that it was in your mind to go astray from the Lord, being returned, seek him ten times more. Be on fire for the Lord. Okay? It says, I got to start over. It says, And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Because we, we endure all things for the elect's sake. Yahweh Shem Shai is chiefly concerned with the elect, the elect of Israel. All right? You know? I don't want to write this out. We be of that number. We keep enduring to the end. All right? Hey, so man, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep fighting. You know? Keep your eyes single. Keep your eye on the prize. We're close. Our redemption is nigh. Victory is nigh. All hell is about to break loose, man. Pay attention. Don't, you know, watch the news. Watch these truthers, you know. The evidence is overwhelming. This place is done, all right? Shalom. Wa abad babal kwam yasharala.